So here we have two 34 inch wide screen displays, beautifully curved. Just look at them, they look fantastic. They are running off a single MacBook Pro. And the great thing is because they are curved, it just, I'm immersed. I'm completely immersed inside of the screen. And I'll tell you, if you're into gaming, if you do any sort of video production stuff, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. And for me, I use this for work. I also do this for a bit of gaming as well. And I absolutely love it. I get so much stuff on my screen. Now, I did have just one single 34 inch before. And you can actually watch one of those videos. I've got the link right up there. If you wanna see me unboxing it, setting it up, giving you a little bit of my review and my thoughts about it. And also, are you subscribed to my channel? If you're not, why don't you click on that button on the bell? I release videos weekly weekly on tech, you won't want to miss out, so click on that button. Why don't you let me know in the comments below what sort of screen you've got or what sort of screen combination you're thinking about getting. Maybe you're wanting to do something like what I've got right over here. Now you don't have to go and get yourself the curved version. I've also tried the flat version. You can put two flat 34 inches next to each other and it does give you a little bit of a big effect, but the curved itself makes you really feel like you're in there. So yeah, they're 3440 by 1440 resolution each. You can get a different uh, resolution. You can get a smaller resolution or the bigger resolution. And then a lot of people get caught out by that. They go and buy themselves a 34 inch going, yeah, great, it's a bit cheaper than this other one. Why is that? I don't know, it's supposed to 34. And then they get it home and they plug it up and they find that it's at a lower resolution. So get yourself, if you're looking at a 34 inch, get yourself the one that is the larger resolution. Now the great thing about these particular 34 inches, this particular Samsung screen, is I've got heaps of ports underneath it. I can connect it via display port, via HDMI. I've got USB-C ports, so I've opted to use the USB-C cable out of each of the two screens directly into the side of my laptop. And the great thing as well about USB-C is that it actually carries power. That's one of the things that I love more than anything. So on my laptop, I don't need to have a separate power adapter running into it. I actually just run the cable out of the screen into my Mac and it just powers it. And that's what I absolutely love about it. On the back of the screen, you've actually got some old school USB ports in there as well. So essentially it's converting your screen into a USB hub. But either way, it runs across both Mac and Windows perfectly. Now, why did I go curved as opposed to flat? Well, I love the look and the feel of the curved. I actually feel a bit more immersed in it. And I will be perfectly honest, that the first time that I did get myself a curved display, it was a bit strange. It didn't feel like what I was used to. It really did feel a little bit different. I mean, if you've been using flat screens your entire life, and then you get yourself a curved screen, it is a little bit, well, what's going on here? But now, when I use a flat screen, it's like, Oh, how could I ever look back? These particular ones, you do get a little bit of a, uh, a reflection, a little bit of a glare when you're looking at it from an angle, right? Because these are designed really to be looking at it front on where possible. And in my case, because I've got two of them, I've actually set them up perfectly so that they are literally one big one. I mean, I'm doing this on a Mac, on a laptop. I open up my laptop and I get my laptop screen along with two 34 inches as well. So really I can get up to three screens running directly on my Mac. Two 34 inch widescreen, get it. I release videos all the time, every week on all things tech. So do also subscribe, click on the button on the bell. Thank you so much for spending the time. We'll see you next time.